Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about scaffold proteins. So scaffold proteins, sometimes called scaffolding proteins, are essential regulators of a lot of important signaling pathways. <clears throat> you can think of scaffold proteins as being like the glue that holds some of these signaling pathway components together to increase their sort of efficiency and effectiveness. <clears throat> Excuse me. So scaffold proteins work through four major functions. One of the things they do is they actually tether signaling components together in order to increase their efficiency. What do we mean by tether? We have an example here, scaffold protein in purple, a plasma membrane in blue, <clears throat> and we've got um, a few different types of proteins here. So, so some signaling components like kinases in black, the proteins that they are phosphorylating, so their targets in green. And what you can see that the scaffold protein does is it actually can tether certain things together to increase their efficiency. So without the scaffold protein holding these kinases, in close sort of proximity to their target proteins, the kinases, they might have to move through the entire cell looking, looking, looking for their target protein. The scaffold protein holds them together so that as soon as the kinases are activated, they can go ahead and activate the downstream target protein. So that's an example of that tethering function. The next function where scaffolding proteins are so important is they actually will localize uh, the signaling components to specific regions. So in the drawing here, this scaffold protein is holding these proteins quite close to the plasma membrane. Other scaffold proteins might localize signaling components close to the nucleus or close to a mitochondrion, Wherever, whatever region of the cell they're supposed to be active in, the scaffold proteins can make sure that they stay there. Another important function of these scaffold proteins is to coordinate positive or negative feedback functions. What this means is that there are various types of feedback in the cell, positive feedback, uh, is types of feedback that uh, amplify a, uh, an effect. Negative feedback is something that slows the process down. And so scaffold proteins can um, help to regulate some of these things. So for example, scaffold proteins can make sure that signaling components like the kinases are only able to activate one downstream target uh, rather than amplify, rather than activifying multiple downstream targets and having this large amplification, scaffold proteins can kind of keep it from getting out of control. Scaffold proteins can also actually, in some cases, deactivate some signaling components once they've had a chance to work once or twice. So perhaps a kinase phosphorylates only one or two things and then gets inactivated by the scaffold protein. And so that would be like a form of, um, of negative feedback. The fourth and final function we're going to talk about today involves the scaffold protein actually insulating uh, or protecting the signaling components from inactivation or degradation. So as an example, Kinases are important signaling proteins. They, um, they activate downstream targets by transferring a phosphate group to them. Phosphatases are enzymes that dephosphorylate things and that can, in, in a sense, inactivate things. And so phosphatases can actually um, inactivate these kinases. Well, scaffold proteins can protect these kinases from being inactivated by phosphatases, basically just by keeping them apart. So by insulating these components, by keeping the kinases safe from the phosphatases, the kinases have a chance to do their job. The phosphatases cannot inactivate them. And studies show that kinases that are um, interacting with the scaffold protein are much less likely to be dephosphorylated by phosphatases uh, 
in, in, in general. And so these scaffold proteins can help to protect these signaling components and help ensure that they can do their job and not be inactivated. So that uh, is the, the sort of um, important function, these four main functions of scaffold proteins. And you can see how they really are an important regulator of various signaling pathways. Um, if you are interested in looking at any of my other videos, you'll find videos on uh, positive and negative feedback, also on um, enzyme activity, and those are ones that you might want to check out. So thanks for watching Biology Professor.